Okay, so my name is Linda Brenner. This is Carl Phelps, and we're the ones who started the club because we really wanted to be able to bring a different slant on some education here in the villages. Why is it making that noise? <laughs> so, I think. So, welcome. We appreciate it. This is actually the third in a series, The End of All Times. Now, that's a title that some of you may just find is very curious because what have we all been told? That there is no cure. And that is absolutely not true. And as far as you may not believe it, there's research to back it up. So for some of you, you've heard my testimony, some of you have not. So why did I even bother to start with Alzheimer's? Because after all, this is just our third meeting with this club. Because four years ago, I was facing a major crisis, a major health crisis. I had taken care of my mother for nine years, who had Alzheimer's and was legally blind. I knew all about this disease. My husband's in the medical field, and I had researched everything there was. I was aware of the few little puny pills that are available and was certainly not impressed with any of them. And I started to do research and to see what was going on over in Europe, because that's actually a New York trained uh, massage therapist and esthetician for military. Can you hear me if I just talk? No, no. Can you hear me? Okay, what? It's my breath. I don't think I can do this without breathing. <laughs> okay, is that better? Can you hear me without all that breathing? Uh, no, I do not have COPD. That was not part of my health plan. So, uh, anyway, I told you I took care of my mom for nine years, and uh, my father had it a short time before he passed. And at 68, four years ago, I developed first stage Alzheimer's. And I was absolutely terrified. My parents did not even have symptoms until they were 85. And here I am at 68. And this isn't about forgetting your keys, okay? I knew exactly what was happening. And I was diagnosed with mild cognitive impairment, which is usually considered stage one Alzheimer's or certainly three Alzheimer's. Using words incorrectly would have the same letters as other words. Uh, I'm a voracious reader. I would read at least four or five books a month, heavy stuff. And uh, one whole year, couldn't read one book. Couldn't absorb it. I mean, I could physically read it. I just couldn't absorb any of the material. I, I couldn't, not only not absorb it, I couldn't even remember it. And it just absolutely terrified me. Long story short, when I was doing research, I came across a 22-page research from Europe, and it said, what causes the amyloid protein in the towel? And I know most of you probably are familiar with that. Those are the typical things that your physician is going to talk about. But something, something caused that to start to malfunction. Could it be vasomotion? And I did not know what vasomotion was. So I did a little more uh, Google search. I did find, and we do have information back there, um, I found out it's all about circulation. I was not getting the amount of blood circulation and oxygen to my brain, period. And that that is literally the beginning. You're just literally starting the neurons in your brain. So that is one of the things that I did. But also, I know that it's not just a one thing solution. And even though I ate very healthy, I've been in the holistic field for 20 years, I started to narrow down and narrow down the things that I knew were important for me. Why did I narrow them down? Because when I moved here to the villages two years ago, I decided to have genetic testing done. And I have double ATO scores. Now, you may go, wow, what in the world is that? Well, basically, it's only 9% of the population, and it means that I have anywhere between an 80 and 90% chance of having Alzheimer's before I'm 85. So, um, you know, normally that would be a sentence, right? I mean, how awful. But I had gotten hold of a book called The End of Alzheimer's by Dr. Bredesen. He's a very famous, well-known neurologist.
familiar. And as I was reading the book, I just could not believe the information in there. We have some books back there in our resource uh, table that you can take a look at. They're just on display, but you can take a look at them. Um, and we also have some other information for you. Now, if, you, if this is your first time to be here, one of the things we have offered our club, you can come, is for $5, you can purchase a notebook, and you can get all of the notes from all of the series that we do. Yes, there's, there's my little uh, band of white there with the notebook. Um, so for $5, you get all six. So what happens if you miss one? It doesn't matter, you go back, we have extra copies for probably the one you miss. And so we'll go to the back for that, and the gals back there um, can help you. So Alzheimer's is not a one pill. Yes, wouldn't we all love to have a pill that's just made of work? I mean, really, we're human, it would be nice. It's never gonna happen. Why? Because it's not a one cause disease. And there are multiple things that affect it. We talked about circulation, and that's absolutely huge. Um, tonight, we're gonna be talking about bioidentical hormones. Who would possibly think that your hormones, and this includes men, who would possibly think there's a direct correlation between that and dementia and Alzheimer's? And there absolutely is. Um, we're also going to be doing a three-part series on nutrition. It's going to be on the 28th. If you have not been on our email list, if you go to the back, we'd love to put you on our email list. You will only get two emails a month. One telling you what's going to be on the uh, docket for the next one. And then we do a five-day reminder ahead of time so that you're, you, know, you know exactly what it is. That's all we're going to do. So you can also go to the back and get on our email list, and of course you can take it off any time that you want. So uh, you notice we have food. No, this isn't a one-night thing. We've been doing that because needless to say, what you eat directly affects your brain. You have that gut-brain connection, and we're gonna get into that with one of the sessions we're gonna do. Nutrition is a huge part of this. But tonight, I am so thrilled to welcome Greta Ellis, 